In this video, we will take a look at how we can adjust our Autodesk Inventor model by changing the order in which features were created and also by suppressing features. As we look over here in the model browser, I have several different features in this part. And we have the ability to turn features off and we also have the ability to reorder them if needed. For example, if I did not want to display this threaded hole here, I'll find it over here in my model tree, looks like it's hole five. I can right click on it and choose suppress features. As you can see, it now has a line through it in the model browser, says it's suppressed and it no longer appears in the model. To bring it back, I can simply right click on it and unsuppress the feature. If I come in here and suppress the very first item, you can see that some other features are suppressed along with it because they were dependent upon that revolution. If the original revolved shape isn't there, then we can't show the holes that are cutting through that shape. So I'll go ahead and bring that one back as well. Similarly, if I have some fillets and I remove the features that they are filleting, then the fillets will be suppressed as well. As you know by now, the model browser shows a history of all of the features that we've added to a part. At the very end of the model browser is the end of part tool. We can actually click and drag this feature up to stop at any point in time. So here I can bring it up before I created these holes and fillets, or I can bring it up before I created any of the holes and so on, even back to the original shape. Sometimes this is nice to do to see step-by-step step how the part was created. I can see it started with a revolution, then another one, some extrusions and so on until the entire part was created. To get back to the entire part, I can right click on this and tell it to move the end of part to the end. Of course, I can also manually move that down as well. We can also click and drag features to reorder them. We'll switch to a different part so that we can see that in action. On this part, I'm going to create a hole that cuts through the entire part. So I'll begin with the hole tool. I'll place it on this surface and I'll go ahead and have it come down a quarter inch from the top here. And we'll say an inch from the left side. And I'll go ahead and bump up the diameter a bit here. We'll say to a quarter inch. And I want this hole to cut through the entire part. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the through all option. Then I will click OK. So as you can see, that hole was created and it cuts through the entire part. Well, next, I'm going to add an extrusion right here in the middle. So I'm going to sketch on this surface. I'll create a circular shape here. I'm not going to worry about fully constraining it, but I'll at least get it in the right spot here. Then I will extrude this shape up. So as you can see, I have this added extrusion, but it does not have a hole that cuts through it. And the reason for that is the hole happened earlier in time. When the hole was created, that extrusion did not exist. Well, let's say that I actually wanted the hole to cut through that extrusion. Then all I need to do is drag extrusion three above hole two. And now it is as though the extrusion was created first and then the hole. And as you can see, as a result, the hole now cuts through that other extrusion. Now, one thing to watch out for when you're doing something like this, if I were to once again create this sketch, and just for the sake of argument, let's say that I was projecting geometry and I wanted to project this entire surface. Let's say that I accidentally selected one of these holes to project as well, or both of them. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. I'll create my shape, I'll extrude it, and then I come over here to reorder them. As you can see, it is not allowing me to drag this extrusion above the hole. And the reason for that is because the hole is referenced in this sketch. You can see those two little lines in there. So I can't possibly reference the hole if the hole hasn't happened yet. So therefore I'm not allowed to drag this above hole two. That concludes this look at reordering and suppressing features in Autodesk Inventor.